Russian citizens are being evacuated after hundreds of Ukrainian troops poured across their border into the Kursk region. At least 21 were killed when Israeli airstrikes hit Khan Yunus, after evacuation orders triggered another exodus from a city Mani had only just returned to. After weeks of abuse, Algerian boxer Iman Khalif wins the women's 66 kilo final. Russian state TV shows citizens from the Kursk region being evacuated following a large-scale incursion by Ukraine on the country which invaded it in 2022. Russia declared a federal-level emergency in the region days after hundreds of Ukrainian troops poured across the border in what appears to be the largest attack by Kyiv on Russian soil since the conflict began. Fighting in Kursk has received considerable attention by Russian media. Coverage shows children being taken to shelters as well as people from other Russian regions gathering food, diapers and other supplies to be sent to Kursk. Russian troops shelled a supermarket in the Donetsk region of Ukraine. Reports indicate at least 12 were killed and 44 wounded because of the shelling. Donetsk's regional military administrative head described it as a targeted attack on a crowded place and an act of terror by Russian forces. Israeli airstrikes into the southern Gaza Strip city of Khan Yunis killed at least 21 Palestinians, according to local health officials. The airstrikes came after Israeli evacuation orders triggered another exodus of Palestinians from heavily destroyed districts within the city, where Mani had only just returned to following Israel's last incursion in July. Thousands were forced to flee the city, carrying essentials like tents, backpacks and blankets. It's at least the third time Israeli forces launched a major incursion into Khan Yunis, the city where they believe Hamas's newly named top leader could be. Much of the city has been reduced to ruins. An Israeli drone hit a car in southern Lebanon, killing a Hamas official, according to state media. Over the past few months, several Hamas officials have been killed in Lebanon in airstrikes blamed on Israel. Last week, Hezbollah said Israel killed its top commander in Beirut. Iman Khalif has won the women's 66 kilo final against China's Yang Liu. The Algerian boxer's triumph comes after weeks of scrutiny and misconceptions about her gender. Spain beat France 5-3 to win the men's football final, but the women's team lost to Germany in the game for the bronze medal. The United States stay on top of the medal table with victories in the men's 400 meter hurdle and in the women's relay. Denmark's landmark wind farms are becoming a tourist attraction, with the most talked about wind farms continuing to draw attention. Initial plans to install coastal wind turbines in the North Sea face significant opposition from holiday homeowners and rental agencies. But despite ongoing criticism following the wind farm's launch, they found an additional purpose beyond generating green electricity. The site has emerged as a tourist attraction, with the local company offering boat tours that allow visitors to view the turbines up close. After days of protests due to the construction of a mini hydroelectric power plant at the source of the Una River, the Croatian state issued an announcement. A criminal complaint was filed against the official who issued the investor the location permit, saying it didn't comply with the environmental protection procedures and the construction permits are therefore illegal. Citizens and environmental activists had protested the plant's construction for days. <laughs> 